Hello, in this video I'll show you how to edit your studio photo when it comes to Photoshop and in case you want to download this image file along simply check the link in the video description. So in order to edit this very simple studio photo in Photoshop, you are simply going to come and import the image in Photoshop and after importing the image, the very first thing we are going to do in Photoshop is simply working on the skin. So we are going to be using frequency separation as a retouching technique to edit or retouch this very photo. So just come to the background layer and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J or you can use Command J on the keyboard. So Command J twice to create two layers. I double click to name this to color and double click on the topmost layer to name it to texture. So after renaming these layers, you're going to remain with information like we have named. So for the color layer, we only want to remain with colors and for the texture layer, we want to remain with the texture. So just come to the color layer turn off the texture layer and simply come to filter blur gaussian blur and for this take the radius slider all the way to 0 0.1 and click on any you feel has more skin textures and blur away those skin textures so move the radius slider and stop at the point whereby these textures are just starting to get lost or to disappear from the photo that you're editing click ok now simply come and select the texture layer now activate it then come to image come to apply image so for this, the source is the name of the photo that we're trying to edit. Under layer, select color layer. Blending is add because you're editing a 16-bit image. Opacity is 100 percent. Scale is to offset zero and simply turn on the invert option. And in case you're editing an 8-bit image, in case you have 8 right, it means your photo is 8-bit. You have to use a blending of subtract. The scale is to offset 128 and make sure invert is not turned on. And you'll see the textures on this gray layer. So for my case, this is a 16-bit image. I'll click OK, then change this from normal to linear light, then select both layers, then press Command G, or you can use Ctrl G on the keyboard to group these two layers, open up the group and select the color layer. Then for this step, you are going to come and turn off the texture layer because you want to blend the colors in the skin tone without having any kind of distraction regarding the textures or the details in the photo. Come to the brushes, get the mixer brush tool, and for the settings, make sure the hardness set to zero, soft round brush is selected, and clean brush is also selected. Make sure the second option right here that says clean brush after each stroke is also selected. With a weight of 9%, load 75, mix 90, flat 100%. Make sure sample all layers is not turned on. And for this step, we just want to blend the transitions in the skin. So for example, to blend on the hand area, we are simply going to use a small brush. And make sure that for this step, don't zoom all the way in because... When you zoom all the way in, you can't see the uneven skin color transition. So for this step, you're just trying to create even skin tones by blending using the mixer brush tool. And by the way, to increase or reduce on the size of the mixer brush tool, you can use the open and close square bracket keys on the keyboard to reduce or increase on the size of the mixer brush tool, depending on the area that you're trying to work on or edit. So blend like this. Yeah, blend like that. So to blend, you simply click and hold down and you blend a given color. Mix the highlights alone, mid-tones alone, and the shadows alone. And by the way, as you're doing all this, ensure that you don't zoom all the way in because when you zoom all the way in, you can't see the uneven skin tone transition. So retouch at a distance. So like I said, mix the mid-tones alone, the highlights alone, and the shadows alone in the image just like this. And you can see by just doing this, we are now trying to get or we are achieving a slightly smooth and even skin color or skin tone for our subject in this case. So I'll get a very small brush and start working on the face. So for the face, slightly zoom in by using Command Plus or you can use Control Plus on the keyboard. So when it comes to the face area, you are simply going to come and blend and follow the direction of the face. So you can see. This area is moving in this and the cheek is moving in this direction. That is why I have to move the strokes of the mixer brush tool following that direction to keep and maintain the original shape of my subject's skin or face. So I'll blend like that, come to the forehead area and also continue blending these transitions on the model's face or on the skin tone. So I'll blend like that. 
So when it comes to the nose, just get a very small brush and blend and follow the direction of the nose of the subject. So, and you can see this keeps and maintains the original shape of the model's face without creating any kinds of uh, disturbances. So I'll just simply do all this. And you can see the skin is now tending to look a little bit smooth. So don't forget the hands or fingers as you're trying to retouch or edit your image or your photo. So right now we are done working on the skin area. And let me show you the before and after for just using the Mr. Brush tool to even or blend the transitions between the model's skin. So just come and turn on the texture layer. And let me show you the before and after for this. This is the image before, after, before, after. So in case you have not blended a given area, and for the settings, by the way, for the Mixer Brush tool, the weight is 9, load 75, mix 90, flat 100%, and make sure sample oleas is not turned on. So I'll blend like this. And after blending, it is time to remove the pimples or skin imperfections regarding texture. So just come to the texture layer and activate it or select it. Then make sure it is turned on, by the way. And for this step, get the clone stamp tool and for the settings, the hardness set to zero. And make sure the mode is normal, passing in the flat 100%. Align this check and under sample, make sure current layer is selected. So for this, I'll zoom in by using command plus or you can use control plus on the keyboard. So to remove, for example, a given pimple or blemish, hold down the option key on the keyboard, alternate for, for windows. Then option and click on a clean area near the pimple and simply release the option button and simply click once again over the pimple or the blemish so we are basically trying to copy and paste clean skin over the pimple or the blemish so take your time as you're trying to do all this because at the end of the process you don't want to leave away any texture inconsistencies or blemishes so i'll just do this quick so keep on holding the option key on the keyboard and copying and stamping over the pimples or blemishes on the model skin. So I'll do this for the rest of the pimples or blemishes. So after removing these pimples, you're going to go straight into the color grading process for evening out uh, the skin color or skin tones of the model or the subject in this case. So I'll come to the lower part of the body and ensure that I have cleaned majority of these skin imperfections. So to remove this line, option click and simply draw over that line to eliminate it or reduce on the visibility of that line so you can see the overall before and after for the skin retouching so after retouching the skin you're going to go straight into the color grading process so create a stamp visible layer by pressing shift option command e shift alternate control e on the keyboard then come to select and come to subject and you're going to automatically select the subject in this case and Photoshop is going to help us do that. Then after selecting the subject, just come and create a new layer and change its blend mode from normal all the way down to color. Then for this, we are going to come to the brushes, get the brush tool and for settings, soft round brush is selected. The mode is normal past in the flat 100%. You're just going to choose a color on the model skin that we want the rest of the skin to look like. So for this case, we shall sample or get a slightly warm color and perfect that later on so i'll hold down the option key on the keyboard option and click option and click on a slightly warm color i feel like this color is okay so after sampling that color it is going to be time to paint on the skin so i'll quickly paint on the model skin don't mind if the skin is looking a little bit oversaturated because we can always come back and correct or perfect the skin color so for this step, we just want to get a slightly uniform skin color or skin tone for the subject. Don't mind in case it's looking too orange or too saturated and unnatural and realistic at this point. Because we are going to be perfecting this later on uh, in the color grading process. So I'll quickly paint just like this. So you can even zoom in to see why you're painting by using Command Plus or you can use Control Plus on the keyboard. So I'll ensure that I've painted each and every area that has skin and not leave out any single area regarding the model's skin or her skin area. So I'll just come right to the ear and also make sure that I've painted 
each and every area like i've said that has skin color or skin tone so keep eye from painting some areas like the makeup the eyebrows and some areas that or where the makeup was applied so you can see by just doing this we now have a slightly uniform skin color or skin tone for the model or subject in this case so after we have painted on majority of the areas and we feel like we have done a pretty uh, good job make sure you paint each and every area you feel should contain this color of the skin so after ensuring that i've painted each and every area i'll get the eraser tool so e is the shortcut for the eraser and make sure the, the mode is set to brush or pass at 100 percent flat 100 percent and the work of the eraser tool is simply to rub away or erase any errors we have or we may have committed during the painting process in some areas of the photo so you can see this area and this area of the outfit had been painted with the color of the skin color or skin tone so after doing this we're just going to use command minus to zoom out and look at the image so press ctrl d or you can use command d on the keyboard to deactivate the active selection then you're going to come to the opacity of this layer that has the color grading of the skin tone and reduce on the opacity so for this we're just going to go with around 61 is okay so to perfect this color just come to hue and saturation so in case the skin tone is looking too orange you can play around with uh, the hue slider of the master so you can either move the hue towards uh, the right hand side in case the skin is looking a little bit too reddish and that is going to introduce more greens into the skin tone and in case the skin tone is looking too greenish you can move it towards the opposite which is the reddish side to remove greens from the skin tone so i'm just going to come the reds and for the reds i'll come the lightness and take down the lightness of the reds just like that and this is going to make me achieve a slightly better looking kind of skin tone that looks natural and a little bit more realistic so negative eight looks okay so let's go with around negative nine so for this case i'll go with negative nine so after this i'll simply come and create a black and white adjustment layer change the blend mode from normal to multiply and come and reduce on the opacity to around i feel like nine is okay so after we have done this you can simply come and work on the rest of the colors in the image like the black so for this i'll simply come and select or come to selective color come and select the blacks because i feel like the blacks are not enough for me so i'll just come to blacks and come the science and play around with the science slider up to when i feel like the blacks are a little bit better and you can play around with these sliders to eliminate any color regarding the blacks in the image so I'll just add a slight bit of magenta to the blacks or purplish fill so i feel like this is okay at about three so you can say before and after for just the selective color so after you have done this you're just going to perfect or work on the background by creating another selective color adjustment layer and this time around you're going to come and target the whites of the image and for this you can see the white background is having a little bit of yellow color or yellow tint come to the yellow slider and play around with the yellow slider and play around with it and you can even play around with the magenta slider to get a color that best suits you or works for you depending on the look that you want to go in for so for this i'll play around with these sliders and see what works best for me i feel like this is okay so let me see the magenta i'll take out the magentas just like this so you can say before after before after so you can even duplicate this effect and press ctrl j or can use command j to make the effect even more pronounced but for that so i'll press command j or i've duplicated this layer by pressing command j to create a copy from it i feel like this color is okay so after we have done this for the background we are going to do a little bit of eye whitening so for eye whitening you are simply going to come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer come and measure master selected take down the saturation from the overall image around negative 79 or negative 80 then press ctrl i or you can use command i on the keyboard to invert the effect and for this i'll zoom into the eyes and get the brush tool 
make sure I have black and white on these two color swatches. So in case I have any color apart from black and white, I'll simply press. I'll simply press D on the keyboard or click on the tiny swatches. So with white as the top color, you can switch between black and white by using the arrow. So with white as the top of our ground color, I'll start painting over the model's eyes. And this is going to whiten the eyes of my subject or model in this case. So you can even do it for the teeth whitening. So I'll just paint briefly. And in case you paint extras, make sure you switch the brush back to black to erase the effect from a given area. I feel like the skin is a little bit too orange. So I'll create another hue and saturation adjustment layer and come to the reds and simply come the lightness and even take the red slider down a little bit so that the skin can look natural without having any kind of orange color to it before and after. I feel like this is okay. So let's add a little bit of glow or skin shine to the model skin. So for this, come and create a curves adjustment layer. Then scroll down and click on this left hand pointer, drag it towards the right hand side or drag it towards the left hand side up to when the skin or the highlights on the skin are overexposed. And for this, simply, simply right click on that layer and come to blending options and come to YC blend if make sure it is set to gray. Come to underlying layer and move this slider towards the brightest area and stop at the point where by only the brightest areas of the skin are affected. Then press command Rather, press the Option key on the keyboard, alternate for Windows, and click on this right-hand pointer and move this towards the right-hand side. Up the point whereby the effect is blending well or even better into the skin. And click OK. You can even come and change the blend mode for this from No Mode to Linear Dodge to enhance the effect. Then simply come the opacity and reduce on the opacity of the effect. Then press Ctrl I or you can use Command I on the keyboard to invert the effect. So with the brush tool selected, make sure it is a white brush. You can simply increase on the size of the brush and start painting over what you feel are the highlights on the model skin. And this is going to make the image even better by adding a little bit of skin glow or skin shine to the model skin. So simple and easy like this. So after I have done this, in case the effect is too much for our liking, just come the opacity and reduce on it so that it can look better, natural, and a little bit more realistic. So about 20, that's okay, before, after it is not too much. So it is time to save or export the image. So in order to save this very image, let me first of all show you the before and after for the editing of the image. So you can see this was the image before and this is the after, before, after. So let's save the image, simply come to File, Export, and come to Export As. And it's going to open up the export as window right here in Photoshop. Under format, make sure it is set to JPEG. Quality to the maximum, which is 7 for this case. The resample is set to by cubic sharper because we want a sharp image during the saving process. And scroll down to where you see color space. Make sure these two options are checked. Convert to sRGB and embed color profile and click on export in order to save or export the image. So this is how you can edit a photo in Photoshop from the start to the very end. I hope I've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe. If at all I've been watching and you are not a subscriber to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and as well keep creating.